cruising aboard scenic Jasper in the European winter is a treat for all the senses. Our Christmas market's journey has stopped in the glorious Austrian capital of Vienna, where we can eat, shop and sightsee till our hearts and tummies are content. But before we indulge in festive food, there is one mandatory culinary stop for all first-timers to Vienna. It's a traditional place here in, in, in the city. It was always here on that block, and as you see it here, 1905. I mean, more than 100 years, they have this place here. So with the schnitzel, is it just sort of like an Austrian cliche, or is it something that you guys really, really eat it? Uh, in the family state, they prepare it for the weekends. Uh, if there are any leftovers, they make sandwiches out of it. Um, when we go to any place to eat and you don't really find something special in the menu, well, then you have a schnitzel because so, that's always good. You should order the Wiener schnitzel. Yes. I would take the one made out of veal, the real traditional thing, yeah, and the potato salad with it. Potato and then salad. you have a real traditional Viennese lunch. Okay. From humble beginnings, Fiegmüller has established itself as a Viennese institution with a reputation for the biggest and best schnitzels in the city. Wow, it really hangs over the plate, like you can't see the plate. But that is the Figmuller signature move, right? Yes. <laughs> bigger than your plate, yes. Mmm, how crispy, huh? Mmm, wow. It's definitely not an average pub schnitty. This is <laughs> so good. Schnitzels are a specialty all year round, but this next attraction is just for us festive season visitors. How do you like this, Paul? Huh? I, I couldn't have <laughs> asked for a more perfect setting. For me, for me, it's childhood. It's it is. The, it is absolutely childhood. It, it's the Christkindl Market, the oldest one that we have, the most is it traditional the oldest? one. Yes, it is. That building there. It's the city hall. It's the city hall. It's the city hall. <laughs> it's very fairy tale. This whole setting, isn't it? When was the last time you sat on one of these? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, this is really cute. I'm actually finding it quite fun. It is. And it's a brilliant view of the market. Yeah, isn't really? it? Should we get off and let the kids have a go? I think we have to. All right, let's go. <laughs> During the festive season, Vienna's Christmas markets become a tourist attraction of their own, capturing all there is to love about this beautiful city. So what's this one? It's old bread, which you cut in pieces and then you mix it with eggs and sugar and put it in a pan with apples and fry that. That's good. And we'll have an apple green wine with it. Are you okay? Yes. If there is any bread left over at home, you do that. Is this a winter thing or a Christmas yeah, thing? Yeah, it's more a winter thing. Winter Not thing. only Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that really smells like Christmas. You know, like cloves, oh, yeah. cinnamon. cinnamon. Apple pieces in there. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, that's really good. Oh, you like the muck? Yeah, it's heart shaped. Sweet, huh? So sweet. Every market has its own uh, mucks. They have their own design, so you can collect them. Mm. So let's try this. Mm -hmm. This is one grandmother's usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's Christmas. To top off a truly sensational day, we're off to spend an evening in a palace as part of a special scenic and rich experience. This is definitely one of those rare pinch myself moments. I'm in a 17th century palace in Vienna and I'm about to attend a private concert. I mean, this is the stuff that dreams are made of.